Um, so Zaya is an option, depending on how strong you are in the uh, early game. Um, then there's the Water Gun Graves comp that utilizes Seraphine and Graves. Um, and really your, your goal is to itemize Seraphine and Graves because of the, uh, the ability that they share where Seraphine casts. It uh, gives Morello uh, and her AP to the units surrounding her as well as the shield. Um, so that's another AD comp you can go. And then there's some other comps like Scale Scorn and uh, Rengar Reroll. Like if you have like Double Trouble for Rengar, you can play that. Um, or there's the Scale Scorn comp, which is, I mean, just Scale Scorn, but um, it's kind of like the old Yasuo comp from Set 5, where it's kind of like you kind of need like the perfect conditions to play it in order for it to really work well. Um, it's not something I think you could force in a game. Um, it's more or less a comp you have to roll on 3 2 4 uh, if you're really weak throughout the the early game or it's something that like if you have like base camp or combat training or something like that um, that's pretty viable to go oh, which I don't do think is like the top priority I think like bow or blade bow or sword is pretty good for start um, if you want to go kind of lean more towards AD but I think sword for the most part, it's the most flexible because you can still make Shojin, uh, and then you can still play AD. So, kind of a uh, kind of up to your own discretion. But I also have the feeling that forcing comps is now different. Like like an early um, TFT set, it was viable to force some comps, but now it's like yeah, it's hard. it's a lot more flexible because <clears throat> there's. Um, I'll give you an example of Zaya. Um, really, Shivana is your... Um, I would probably just grab... Yeah, probably never Talia with double sword. Let's grab Nidalee and just sit. Because um, Astral's is really good now. Um, so, mm -hmm. let me give you the example with Zaya, right? So, Zaya, you could play Shimmer Scale Zaya. So, you, instead of Shivana, you play Itis. And instead of Shivana, you play Zippy if you want to play Guild. Um, and then there's units that you cut and add accordingly to what frontline you play or what unit you play. Um, obviously, Shivana is the best, but you can't hit Shivana every game. So, um, probably just grab Vlad here. And sell this uh, to Leah and grab Jax. Just for because of Jade. Jade Astral, you know, one of the two is really good to start with. Um, and you know, if you have double sword glove, Lagoon is not very viable. Neither really is AP, to be honest, unless you hit like Jeweled Lotus. Um, so let's see. Rakan is very good. Yeah, yeah, Rakan is very good. Um, all right, <laughs> uh, Cruel Pact is kind of I don't know. That's a very gambly kind of yes uh, play style. There's probably it probably is Cruel Pact if you want a top four, but I, I don't. I've never actually had the option to play Cruel Pact, so I would just pick Radiant Relics just because it's. A little bit more flexible and doesn't commit you to being 10 HP. Oh, uh, oh. it's definitely just Rascal Gloves. You get two Radiant items for free. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But Ginzis, I think Ginzis is pretty strong because Ginzis is like a good it, item. It is. It's just you don't have an item holder for it. It's very good, so... Should I put it on Jax or something like this? Yeah, you can. So here we should have bought uh, Skarner and then played Astrals for a round. Uh, just for okay. this round, but it's fine. We'll, we'll get it in the next round. We were chatting a little bit there. <clears throat> but, yeah, so, like, for example, if we play Zaya this game, maybe uh, Shivano would be a really good holder for uh, for the uh, two ra the Rascal Gloves. And we can grab Ezreal mm -hmm. as well, just for the time being. See, if, like, if we have Varus or something, um, we, we could get in Swift Shots. Oh, is there, as we is still strong? Like I know, last set as we was completely bonkers. Uh, he's he's still pretty good, but not he's not like broken. Um, let's sell Diana and Rakan 
and level and play jacks and then put the chalice between the two units. Yeah. And then at this point, we could just make like infinity edge plus sword on uh, Nidalee because, I mean, we're, we're not ever making death blade and it very much looks like we're playing AD with these items, so. Yeah, but, but Thieves Gloves is so good when it's Radiant because you get to, two full Radiant items. It's just, it's too much value just to pass up. Especially early game. Like, even with a bad board, you can still win streak with this. But uh, with with the items that I had, um, um, and taking consideration going 80, without the Radiant, with the Thieves Gloves, would we have went to uh, Guinness Rage Plate? Um, if you didn't pick Thieves Gloves, then yeah, it would have been Rage Blade. But Rage Blade, you kind of need um, a good holder for. Like, you need a ranged unit to kind of really effectively utilize it. I would just sell Karma and buy Ezreal, just because AP is kind of out of the picture at this, at this point. Unless, like I said before, we hit that, you know, Jeweled Lotus or something if if we get Gold Augments. But, um, yeah, yeah, so if like you... Saya. If you didn't pick oh. Rascal Gloves, then yeah, Gwinsu would have been good. Like, maybe if you had, like, a two-star Twitch or something, or a two-star Ezreal, um, maybe Radiant Rage Blade would have been better, but I think just because you had a little bit of a weaker board, um, I think... Oh, shit. I think it's always just generally better just to go Thieves Gloves, but I think from the spot where we were in, it's it was just kind of more desirable to get more items on the field to save HP. This radiant item is like crazy. Look at look at this buck. Oh yeah, no, it, uh, the radiant uh, ZZ rod is super good early game. Like early mid game, that shit is like an extra tank. Like a, it's like an extra jacks on the field. That's so fun. <clears throat> I never thought about picking this one. Yeah, no, there, it's, it's so like, good. It's like so good value. That's true. So we have sword. Um, bow? Bow would be fine. I'm trying to think. Oh, AP. Belt is fine, I think. Belt is fine. Let's go belt. <laughs> yeah, belt? Okay. Yeah. Because we don't need another glove. We don't need... Rod is kind of awkward because I want to just make items right away. Uh, I'm not really a fan of holding on to components, especially when we started winning. So, let's see. Like, making Zeke's could be very, very viable here. All right. So, oh, let's... we should go in Zeke's with him. Yeah, let's go Zeke's and then let's level and play. Um. What's a good unit here? Probably Ezreal, yeah. Grab Ezreal and put, put Vlad in the Zeeks as well. Yeah, oh, so... Oh. Yeah, so... That was bad. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. Should be good. This guy made Gwinsu... And Sh Radiant Shojin on a Nasus. Interesting take. Oh, that's, that's fun. That's very that's... interesting. I, think, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Ah, uh, Zeke Stiff. Wait. Oh. Drain. Okay. Nice. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got we got bailed out. That's good. All right, Jax two, perfect. All right, Nidalee. Yeah. So let's just put all those in the back row. We don't. I mean, Jax is really our main front line. So this is what we're gonna do: move Jax to the center of the field, right where Skarner is. Put Skarner behind him. Yeah, and then just drag Nidalee and Ezreal and Flat down the row. Yeah, so with this, you're just letting uh, Jax kind of take all of the all of the damage, and since he's kind of like a slightly worse Shen, where he just blocks damage to himself, um, he's really good at solo frontlining. 
So doing this is really good. Mm, I see what you mean. Yeah. So, oh, we're using his Counter Strike. Yeah. Yep. So it's like oh, you, utilizing that. Um, let's grab Cicciolani and Leona just just because we can. And let's. What's Mirage? Oh, you can roll over the little bubble, yeah, Executioners. Um, that could be fine, potentially. So let's buy Ezreal. Um, yeah, so Astral's is pretty much your go-to uh, in the early game for the most part this set, just because it gives you free upgrades um, that kind of make really good item holders, like Varus and Lux and Nidalee are all really good. Um and it also, too, just gives you... Yeah, it, we'll probably get three gold here, though. Okay. Um, so it, it kind of just gives you, like, the opportunity to make gold while still remaining pretty strong. So if you can win streak like we are with Astral's, you're an insane... You're, like, you're in an insane spot. Well, Kiana's trash, isn't it? Uh, she's not bad. She's just a utility unit. Um, no, could, trash for us at, for comp. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wouldn't play it with uh, Zaya, but we could play it for like an interim unit potentially. Um, but oh. um, let's see. There's nothing we is really Leon have. not? Uh, it's like Mage with Astral, not that bad. It's not bad. No, no. It's just it's just uh, the, the, what they did was they made Astral's harder to hit, so like you don't have the free shop refresh thing. Where you just guaranteed hit astrals, so it just comes out in orbs each round. Um, it's a little bit harder to hit because you actually have to slow roll for it now. But um, there is really, I mean, if you hit it, it's really really good. Like Lux does like thirteen thousand damage every fight uh, at three star with items, so it is pretty pretty good. Think we might win. Kill the Vlad. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. <clears throat> well, it was a pretty close one. Take it. Uh, let's look at our board. So, taking Recombobulator here would be pretty bad because we don't yeah. have any high cost units. Um, so, let's look back. Probably, probably Celestial Blessing is probably the mm -hmm. the most flexible. Um, yeah, for the time being, I think Celestial is probably the best option. But why don't we roll if it's not that good? Uh, well, Celestial is good enough to where you don't have to, and if if it's like a silver, oh, level and just play Twitch, and then put Twitch in the Zeeks, and move flat up. Yeah, and then just level up to six. I'm throwing Vlad, yeah, good. Um, yeah, so so if there is so like you you really don't want to roll unless you absolutely have to. Like if you were given like three unusable augments, then yeah, absolutely roll. But like Celestial Blessing, you're able to, to you're able to use it, so there's no reason not to um, pick it. You know, because it, it's just healing. Like if it gave you like a Scale Scorn emblem, a Mage emblem, and like I don't know, Bruiser Emblem, roll those because, you know, they really do nothing and it makes a lot of compositions awkward. Um, but when there's always, like, an okay option, you always pick it, just, you know, just in case in the future you get screwed on augments, so. All right. Zippy is good and fun. Zippy is good. The only issue is, is we can't really fun play. fit it at the moment. Um, because we don't want to cut Vlad to Jax to... Oh, wait, Jax has Zeke's. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just frontline everything and just give it all Zeke's, because it's going to be a little awkward to move Jax back when he's your main frontline. And 10% on me, Vamp. Yeah, no, the, it's... The, this, uh, the Rascal Gloves are so good. It's so good. Like, you're really strong. 
I'm a big fan of slamming Zeke's. Uh, I don't know why, but it's just so good to me. Uh, two, four, six. We could sell bench and buy Zippy if you want. Oh, well, then then it's just sold. It's all right. Um, <clears throat> so we should probably go Rod here because we have bow sword. So it's either go bow to make a GS and then hold on to bow, or we go Rod to make Gwinsu and hold on to sword. So yeah, we got bow. Or we got Gwinsu, excuse me. So with this kind of opener, we already have uh, AD items, and we really haven't seen any AP items yet. So playing something like Graves is going to be very difficult from this spot because you it's very reliant on Seraphine items. We could put Rageblade on... Uh, Actually, let's just sell this Nidalee, and then just put Zeke's back on Nidalee, and then put the items on Ezreal. Because Nidalee just dies right away. So Zeke's, and then IE Gwinsu on Ezreal. And then you can add a sword to Ezreal as well. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm usually... Oh, we should have put Varus in. That's my bad. Yeah, so Varus goes in over uh, oh. Nidalee, because you get three swift shot. <clears throat> And that's actually now like a trait, whereas before. Oh, uh, if we, did we put the, the items on Varus? I think the items on Varus would have better as it. Um. Well, Ezreal's upgraded, so in this situation now, if Ezreal, uh, if Ezreal was one star, then one star Varus would be better. Uh, we don't have to make that. We would just sell Nidalee and just play Varus. Yeah, three three swift shots better. All right, perfect. Uh, how much to level here? 32. Um, Not enough. Yeah. Alright, well, we're in a good spot. Uh, so really the most annoying thing this set is Zyra. is something to be scouting and looking, looking out for. Because it like stuns everything all in the back line. Uh, which is usually the row that has the most units in it. So, um, just something to be wary of. This guy's playing Demance or Nunu. That's awesome. I think that's a Nuno, I know, and uh, it was, it's still strong, isn't it? I don't know, I see. Yeah, it still is pretty good. It's just, it, it's a little bit more reliant on three-starring it, uh, whereas before you could get a lot more out of two-star, but, um, yeah, so now, like, you kind of are forced to three-star to make it really good, but it, it's it's not bad at all. This guy's playing crazy. We can go for seven. Yeah, we can just level up now. And then we can just put it in a random unit. No, not Zimby. And what are you playing for? Which What are you searching? Uh, well, we're probably... Probably this looks like a Zaya game because we're, like, heavy win streaking and we have a lot of gold, so we should be able to hit 9 very easily. Um, just Zippy and Varus. And then, how much to level here? Just sell everything except Twitch, Varus. So sell Zack, Kiana... Yeah, right side of bench. How much to level? I would just mm, I would just ooh. level I would just level and then play Zippy over the Vladimir one, and then we can like roll in a turn. Yeah, it's good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> yeah. So <sighs> let's see. So we probably want Giant Slayer as our next item, so that's going to be Bow, and then we could probably just make Spark on Zippy, uh, and that'll, that will be one of our Shivana items. Wow, this guy is, like, taking no damage. What the fuck is going on here? Alright. Uh, sell Vladimir, just to make 20, because we, we're not going to 3-star. Sure. And we could roll probably on 4-3. Let's see. 
Um, Swift Shot Crest is kind of awkward, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's not bad, but I think Component Grab Bag is a lot better, just because you get more value out of the items later on. So let's Grab go. Bag, uh, I, think, I think Dragon Perilous or Shivana is pretty, pretty fun. Uh, yeah, but we don't have Shivana yet, so you're essentially playing down an augment until you hit Shivana, and if you never hit Shivana, then you just don't even have an augment. Oh, it's or just Zaya. Yeah, it's just Zaya over Ezreal. And then put, let's corner Zaya. Yeah, and then let's put IE. And then let's make Spark for Zippy. And then... Let's see, what else? Tear can go on Zippy, because that's going to be Archangels for her. And then Sword can go on Zayek. Uh, actually, no, Glove, Glove, Glove. Let's go Glove, because then we can make Glass Whisperer. <coughs> Alright, mm. perfect. <laughs> so let's sell Varus on our bench, just because we're not going to... He, he's not going to be a part of our final comp. It's just going to be Twitch and uh, Zaya, so... Let's just sit on this for now. Yes, it's fun. Like I know it's useless right now, but couldn't we like change tracks with Yazoo or something like this? Uh, we could. It's just um, it doesn't really fit. I would say in this comp anymore. Oh, grab Jace. Uh, let's grab Jace and let's roll to like ten, because Jace is a part of our front line. Zaya, Jace. Alright, alright, so it's just Jace over uh, Skarner. Actually, no, over Vlad, excuse me. Put put Skarner in over Vlad. Yeah. Yeah, because we want to keep Bruiser. And then we could just sell Vlad and Skarner. And then we'll we'll roll again next next round for Zippy 2, Twitch 2, and Zaya 2. Oh god, Rengar. Fucking hate that unit. Just annihilating back lines. Well, it's like everybody against Wayne, no? Yeah. You definitely win. Because of uh, D Claw and Spark. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we'll roll on four or five for these upgrades, and then we'll just go. We'll go nine because there's not a lot to roll for after that. So we want bow and we want rod. One of those bow is more important though. Okay. So then okay. what, what <laughs> else can we take? Let's see. Uh, cloak. Uh, just go like chain here or something. That's good. Yeah. Oh, gargoyles? Yeah. <clears throat> we can go gargoyles, Jace. Potentially. We'll see. I wouldn't make the item yet, though. Oh, Zaya, too. Uh, Bard, go. Let's just put Bard in over Skarner for the extra guild. Uh, and then let's roll for, like, Zippy, too. Just a 10, and then. Actually, you know what? We don't even have to roll. Oh. Shivana. Nice. Just cut Zippy right away, and then play Shivana. Nice. Okay, and then just pull Bard back. Um, uh, right corner, right corner. Yeah. And then just sell Zippy and then put Spark on uh, Shivana. Nice. job, man. <clears throat> so as you can see, your comp gets a lot stronger as soon as you hit uh, Shivana. See what I mean? Yes. Wait, this guy this guy took Knife's Edge and is playing Mage. <clears throat> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Confusing. That is so bad. But I yeah. know <clears throat> I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, so it's a huge spike. Um I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, honestly, rolling here is not that good, because we just need... only thing we're looking for is Hecarim and Rakan, and I think we're stable enough now uh, to where we can just go 9. Okay, so we're just waiting. Yeah. 
And I think I think we can just eventually just drop Jax and put the uh, Radiant Gloves on Jace. But for the time being, this is good enough because we don't want to get rid of a two-star unit to play something worse. Sunlight Keep is so good in this matchup. But we're playing Jax since the beginning, but Jax has nothing nothing in common with our comp. Why didn't yeah. we change Jax for something else? Yeah, actually that's a good question. So Jax is kind of like one of those really good standalone units, just because of how well he mitigates damage. So the fact that he just, you know, he's kind of like a Silas, but a little bit better because he doesn't rely on Mage to cast again. Um... He just dodges a lot of physical damage, um, so it's really, really good. Um, I would probably roll these because we don't need spatula. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I would take this 100% because you get Last Whisperer, Morello for uh, Shivana, and then you also two get Cap Spat. <laughs> so, yeah, Last Whisperer, and then we could go... Oh, that's tough. Let's reforge. Let's reforge. Cloak. Let's reforge. Yeah. Let's refor actually no. Make gargoyles and reforge it. Yeah. Let's do that. Trap claw. All right. Yes. Yeah, so that goes on forest. And then let's go Shojin on Bard. And then Cav Spat on. I I guess Shivana would be probably the correct play. Yeah. Because then we want to move the Radiant Gloves to Jace. Yep. So. We're in a good spot. Uh, now our focus is just going nine and upgrading our uh, our Shivana to be two star and adding in six Rage Wing, which will come with uh, cutting Jax and Varus, uh, and then adding in Hecarim and Rakan. But until then, this is our strongest board, and because this comp is so reliant on kind of hitting level nine and having a good Shivana, um, we don't necessarily want to roll. Uh, on level 8 too much, uh, you know, unless we absolutely have to. And with this game being, you know, very, very, uh, not high roll, but kind of going in our favor, we, we have the ability to go 9 with our economy, our board That's state, crazy. and health. Now, like, let's say HP-wise, let's say you were like 20 here. I'd probably just roll to zero just to try and hit your upgrades and play for top four. But we're, we're in a position where we can play for first, so why not play for first? Yeah, I mean, this guy's crazy, man. Yeah, he is very strong. So we could move we could move our front line to the left one. So we want Jax to kind of hit everything, so we could just, yeah, we could just go like that. Perfect. And then we could move Bard to kind of more towards our back line. Just so we don't get a unit that walks at him. But you should be fine. Shroud his whole team. That's good. Yeah, Z Zaya is very good, but very reliant on Shivana to make it work. Morello burn. Ain't no way we lose this. That's oh, crazy. Shit. Yeah, Swain is Swain is like very like hit or miss. Bard. All right, we just sit. We have sixty health, so and we have a, a lot of gold, so there's really no reason to be panicked here. We're just going nine, and we're gonna roll for Shivana two, Bard two, and then uh, Hecarim and Rakan. And then maybe like Soraka or a Mystic, like an extra Mystic if you play against a lot of AP. So far, so good though. That's true. Yes, this is good. So the Jax is just going to block a lot of this damage, stun everybody. Siobhan is going to get her big knock up and ult. She needs Zaya to do some physical damage. Nice. No more Mr. 100. 
Well he done. got annihilated, man. <laughs> well done, well done. <clears throat> Another option too for level nine is playing six six Rage Wing and then you add in Zippy. So you could play Zippy and Shivana on level nine to make six Rage Wing and like five guild or six guild, I believe. Um which is also to another good variation. I would only play that though if you have like zippy items. Oh, just go calf spat here. Cause then you get Hecarim in. Oh man, that would be good. We don't really Yeah, yeah, the calf spat, calf spat. Yeah, so we don't really need frontline items just because uh we have rascal gloves, which should be good enough. Um so yeah, so you'll get your spat in a second. Uh, how much to level? We have enough. Uh, let me just let me just see the amount, like how much gold it is. All right, you can just level now and play Zippy over uh, Varus. So just level, and then just put Zippy in over Varus. Yeah, and then move Twitch where Zippy is. All right, that's good. Uh, and then just put. I wouldn't put those items on Zippy, just just chill. And then just put Cav Spat on Zippy. Uh, right there. Nice. <clears throat> Danger is also pretty strong. Yeah, he is. He's just not as strong with the conventional uh, comp, which is like the Mirage Cavaliers. You kind of need more dragons to play it. So like Itis or Terra Frontline. At least in my uh, my experience, um, and spats are also too really good for Deja, especially if it's like Dawnbringer, because then you can go like Dawnbringer Terra or Dawn Dawnbringer Itis. Um, so let's yeah, let's buy Zippy. Uh, let's move Twitch where uh, Zippy is, just so we can get the Zeeks and the the Banshee's Call going. Um, and then we could just sit. Just well, we'll roll after creeps, just so we have enough gold to hit Shivana too. And then, really, I think all that we're looking for is probably just um, Hecarim and Rakan. And then we'll probably we might cut Bard, depending on what items we get. Oh, this guy's gonna dick you. <laughs> this zippy unit. <laughs> Alright, let's mm -hmm. see. So we just got a scout, uh, I think, really, just against that guy. We just have to swap sides. Another Morello. Interesting. Probably just go on uh, Hecarim when we get him. Or Bard if we never hit it. Oh, by Rakan. Oh, 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 okay. Then we just need Hecarim. Nice. Very good, very good. Alright, Bard 2 and just Hecarim and then roll. We need Shivana and then upgrades for these units. Keep rolling. Rolling, Shivana, roll. All right, uh, probably just cut Zippy and then just play Rakan and Hecarim, because then you get a Cavalier six Rage Wing, and then you can just Cavalier, probably just Cavalier uh, Twitch for now. So we can sell Zippy and then just move the Cav Spat to Twitch, just for the extra bonus, because we don't really want it on Jace. And then we can Morello Hecarim. Uh, he, he died, he died, he died. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so this, this uh, Shivana is very tanky. Oh, shit. Yeah, Zai is very good. Uh, we just need to cut this Jax and play something better. 
Uh, I don't really... It's probably going to be like Soraka or something. All right, so now we can just frontline everything, right? We can just frontline everything. So, so Jack's in the middle. So Jack's where Jace is. Yeah, and then Hecram needs to be where Shivana or Jace is, depending on what side the, uh, the carry's on. So move Jace out to where Hecram is. Yeah, li leave it like that. So you always want Hecram... Yeah, like that. Perfect. You always want Hecram, like, one step to the left of center, uh, depending on where the... Or one step to the left or right of center, depending on where the enemy carry is, so that it always hits it. <laughs> Awesome. Yep. <clears throat> Perfect. So, uh, we could sell Zippy after this round because we just can't fit it. We just need to find, like, a Soraka or a Mystic to play. What do we do with the <clears throat> item on Jax? Uh, it's going to go on Jace as soon as we hit something better. So, let's sell Zippy and then just roll Bard 3 angle. Uh, yeah, just keep rolling. We want Shivana to uh, Sor Soraka. Uh, just sell Jax and then play uh, Yasuo. We can do it. We we'll actually, don't worry about it. Don't worry okay. about it. Oh, we got a scout for this guy. Scouting is very important in this set, just because of the units in it, like Rengar and uh, Zyra. Like, if we if we just if we get put against those units and we don't, we're positioned poorly. It's just a guaranteed loss every time. Okay, <clears throat> how do I defend my Zaya? Uh, if you put one Rengar on one side and one on another side, uh, then maybe going center board is better, or just clumping. Uh, Soraka. Soraka swine, I guess. Yeah. Probably, actually, probably with Shojin make Bard cast more, but that's eh, cool. This rock is not bad. <laughs> yeah, so just play that over uh, Jax, and then just move the items from Jack, Jax to uh, yeah. So put it in, and then uh, wait, is that a bug? Wait, wait, wait. Put Jax oh, back yeah, in. No, it was a bug. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, backline Soraka, and then just put those items on Chase, and then scout the guy in first place. All right, so we're fine here. And then we just need to scout against the Rengar guy and just swap sides. That's really it. Because that guy has not moved the whole game. I mean, it's winnable, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, it's a first. You just need Shivana too, and just positioning. Alright, Soraka, and just, yeah, perfect. And then, probably don't want to, uh, yeah, so you're definitely playing against the Rengar guy. So let's, let's look. No, 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 we're, we're just going to swap sides completely. Yeah, so we're just going to go the other side. All right, swap, swap, swap. And then move the Zeeks too. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. So. Do you think Zeeks makes such a big difference? I, I mean, I think, I think, I mean, if we can get the value from it, then we should. You know what I mean? Like, like if, let's say, for example, oh, okay. Um, let's say, for example, that this guy was playing Zyra, right? Like, then, like losing Zeke's value makes sense because. Um, you know, if you backline all your units, the extra attack speed's not going to do anything anyway because they're just going to keep getting stunned. Um, but, alright. I mean, I he's out. I, yeah, so that's good, that's good. Yeah, so we just move Zaya back. Uh, and then Locket probably goes on Hecram once we hit Hecram 2. 
Let's just sell the Soraka on our board and move the Sunfire Cape up to our front line, because it's really doing nothing in the back row. Uh, Hecarim, is it? Yep. Yeah, so we have three Cavaliers, so he's probably our next best tank. Okie dokie. Just roll, yeah. Just roll Hecarim 2 and uh, Soraka 2 and Rakan. Rakan. Alright, Locket goes on uh, Hecarim. And let's just scout to this Yasuo. Move, move your Jace one step to the right. Just so this Yasuo doesn't go right to your back line. I get what you mean. What was that? I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, so he like dashes away oh, now. Yeah. You don't want him to hit your whole board. Yeah, see, Rascal Gloves is really good because, like, even if it gives you one tank item and then, like, a damage item, especially for Jace, it's, like, really good. Oh, man, Edge of Night. Dude, just die. Holy shit. He didn't want to. Yeah, he was just like, staying alive way longer than he should have. Alright, Rakan, sell Varus, and then put a buy Soraka, and then we just sit. So let's just scout again, just make sure this guy's not moving. Oh, he's oh, yes. right Oh, perfect. So, yeah, so I think that, 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 that's a. That's, uh, you know, I, I really don't like playing. Zaya, like I said before, from behind. Um, so that, that's a very good demonstration of what a Zaya game should look like. Um, if you come out very strong like that, um, and you're you know able to play Zaya, absolutely go for it because Shivana and Zaya together are just really really good. Um, but you know, if the game is a little bit more low roll, I would definitely look to play something like you know Olaf or Rengar if we have some augments or something for them, um, because they're just better comps to play when you have to roll on like stage three, um, or even Graves is a really good kind of low roll comp because most of the time you're staying at seven rolling for Seraphine three, um, so you know like let's say this game didn't go as well. Uh, you know, we just make a healing item, uh, instead of, let's say, uh, instead of IE, we go BT, and instead of Rage Blade, we go Edge of Night, and then these items on Shivana would have just gone on Seraphine, um, you know, like Morello, and then maybe, like, Shojin would have gone on Seraphine, and then whatever other AP item we could get our hands on, Death Cap or Archangels, um, and then we have a really good other out, uh, to play if, if we don't hit the Shivana, but... Um, so in terms of this set, it's really important that we pay attention to units like Zyra, because, you know, those, you know, if you have two, two, three units in your back line, they're getting stunned, like, endlessly. Um, if, let's say, Rangar, um, Rangar's kind of obnoxious to play against, because he's always going to jump to the lowest armor, I believe, unit. So even if you swap sides with Zyra, Zaya, he's always going to just jump to her, um, so you kind of have to get creative and like clump, um, and you know maybe get some of your units to target the Rangar right away. Maybe move Rakan back to the back line, um, something like that. But Rangar isn't a very prevalent comp, so you shouldn't worry too much about it. It's not really something that gets played too often. But and then for AP, really. Um, uh, I think a big thing with AP this set is blue buff is a lot better now, and so is Shojin, because Shojin gives you uh, ability power, gives you 20 AP. So, like, if you open up with blue buff, uh, definitely go Lagoons, because Kaisa and Talia are really good with blue buff, and it helps you stack up your Lagoon trait to start farming golden items. Um, and if you have something like Shojin, then may maybe playing something like Astral Reroll Lux, and then maybe into like a Fast 9 to play Aushin, or maybe even a Relian Soul if you have Mage Spat or something, um, seems to be kind of the strategy slash meta that we're playing in currently. 
uh, it feels like that this meta is like more difficult than the last one. Yeah, so to that point, uh, you're not wrong. I agree. Uh, the reason being, kind of like I mentioned before, is because there's so many variations to comps. So I guess in a very boiled down sense, um, Zaya is not as good with any other dragon in it except Shivana, right? But if you're rolling on level 8 to hit Zaya 2, and like let's say you have a lot of frontline items, playing Itis in the interim uh, until you hit Shivana is 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 an option. If you have some more offensive items uh, like BT, IE, Titans that are you know leftover items, playing Zippy in the interim until you hit Shivana is um, is is a very good option. So the thing that makes the set, I guess, quote unquote, more challenging or more difficult is not necessarily the fact that the meta is narrow it's just that the meta is very wide and that you have a lot of options and you need to be considering all of the options all the time like if you just roll on level eight for zaya and then you have no front line and you miss like three or four itises in a shop um and, and you don't play that itis or that zippy with frontline or damage items you're essentially a lot weaker um because there, there is more outs than previous sets. Um, you know, if we think back back to set six point five, those those comps were like f it was four scrap. It was like Blitzcrank, Brom as your front line, and then plus two units, and then you could literally play Jin, Draven, uh, Siver, any backline carry with those units. Um, so it like that that kind of set style was very like I guess carry flexible because you could just swap the carries in and out because they all shared the same items and same traits that made them good. Um, whereas this set is a little bit more utility and frontline flexible. So like instead of swapping out your Zaya for a Sivir or a Draven, it's more or less finding item holders for like. Shivana or Jace in the interim until you hit them uh, to kind of strengthen your board. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you have any more questions or anything? Uh, it's, I'm just... <clears throat> it is It is just... Um, I, I have the feeling that this set is... You can't have like a comp that you see and try to copy it or adapt to it because there's so much you can play. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Zaya is kind of one of those examples. Being that, you know, the level 9 board, you have an empty slot. So like Soraka is kind of like a good, I guess, default unit to put in. But that could have been a Seraphine if we were playing against a lot of AP, you know, for an extra Mystic. Um, if we didn't hit Shivana on level 8, we could have been playing Zippy or Itis um, until we hit the Shivana. Um so yeah, there there is a little bit more flexibility, I guess, in the boards, but the core units are always going to be there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, anything else and, for me? Uh, yeah, and we cho we chose um, Rakan and Echo at the end because of Wage Wing and because we couldn't go for Guild anymore, isn't it? Yeah, so Guild is kind of like it's very good mid game, um, like stage three, stage four. Zippy does a lot. Uh, but really, Zippy kind of falls off more towards the later part of the game. That's why he's kind of considered more of like an item holder for like Shivana or something. Um, honestly, Zippy can hold anything. Like AP items are not, I mean, they're not that good, but they're okay on, on Zippy. Uh, AD and tank items are, are, are also two really good on Zippy. So he kind of just is like a placeholder for Shivana because it gives guild, which kind of... It gives your whole team a buff, as well as giving you a decently strong unit that gives you some CC and some damage. Um, but yeah, he's definitely a placeholder, uh, and you you generally don't want to go like vertical guilds uh, with Zaya, unless you have like a guild spat. Okay. <clears throat> That's interesting. Uh, and going astro uh, astral majors, um, something like this, like astral starters, pretty pretty decent, and this is something that I sh 
that do like all the games? Yeah, so pretty much every challenger player or Chinese player from the China server <laughs> um, has Astral in no later than stage two five. Like it just it's so much free gold and the free upgrades that the the comp gives you um, is insane. And then if you end up playing like an astral board, if you have enough uh, three stars on your team, or if the star level is high enough, you start just farming like items and stuff, and it's really really good. So astral is kind of like kind of better mercenaries in a sense. Uh, well, actually, not better, but it's kind of like mercenaries in a sense, where just playing them gives you so much value. You just should play them every game if you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, how do you decide if I continue with Astral or swap? Like, which stage should I say? Uh, I have so so many Astrals already. Now yeah. it doesn't make sense to go something else. That's good. That's a good question. So if you're like if. So it really is dependent on items first and foremost. If you have AP items, then play Lux. Like if you if like if you have AP items, then you can stick with Astral. Um, and then it kind of goes to how many copies of the unit you're hitting. So like if you have like let's say Shojin and Archangels as your items, and you're playing like Astral Lux, you know, early game. Um, if you hit, just like if you natural a bunch of Luxes, or you're very close to hitting 3-star Lux, then you can stick with that. Um, but if you're not hitting a lot of Luxes, like let's say you just hit 2-star Lux and you never see another Lux again, um, then you should just be more focused on pushing levels and then playing for a comp like Aoshin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And then if you have, like, AD items, kind of like what we did that game, you can use Varus or Nidalee as your item holder until you find, like, Graves or Zaya. Nidalee as item holder. Okay, good. All right. Uh, this is this is why playing Astro is so good, because they can hold good items. Yeah, and it gives you gold. That's why everyone's been playing them. But what do you think about Jade? Jade's horrible. It's probably the worst comp in the game. And I'm sure there's yeah. someone out there that's like a Jade enthusiast that's like, you're wrong. But it's it's extremely hard to play. Uh, and I think I think Mort Dog said this on stream. Like, Shioyu has a very high, like one of the highest top four rates. But it's just extremely difficult to play with positioning. Um, you need like perfect items. You need augments that really buff Jade up in order to make it work. Um, it's not something that you could really pivot to and play, you know, from behind. It's like a, it's kind of a Zaya thing. You need to like hard win streak, get Shioyu, keep the win streak, push nine. And Shioyu really shines in those AP lobbies because you can just jam Mystics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what okay, else you got? Uh... I I don't know. It's just a, it's like a completely new set, like like a huge huge set, and yeah, I, mean, uh, I I don't know how to how, um what what champion I should pivot to. Like you said, I could pivot to Ocean, but I don't know how to play Ocean with uh, anything else. Like, what does Ocean need? Uh, Ocean is just uh. It's so there's a there's a few variations of Aoshin, but I think the most namely one is Aoshin, Terra, Itis, Shivana, uh, is your four dragons that you play, and then there uh, be, if you play four dragons, you get an extra slot on your team, so it pretty much gives you a fawn, and I think you play Rakan because it gives you guardian for Itis, um, or Bard or something like that as an extra unit. But it's really it, that's a, it's a very capped dragon comp. There's very it's very kind of hard to play, and it's not something that you could play towards every game. But if you have enough HP and enough gold, definitely play it. That was pretty risky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think uh, you said going for Saya is pretty pretty difficult if you're behind? What what should I go for if I'm behind? Uh, so if you have to roll on three two, probably. Uh, playing oh so your behind comps are generally gonna be like Deja, 
Graves, Olaf, or Rengar. Um, Dejan, uh, Deja and Graves are a little bit better uh, playing from behind um, because they're pretty decent in terms of carries. Um, however, if for some reason like you have a really bad stage two and like you're having a really bad stage three and you're not hitting anything, playing like Olaf or Rengar if you have double trouble or something like that. Um, it is a really good option because they, they are very strong comps. I mean, the, the guy in second place uh, played uh, an Olaf Warrior variation because he, he opened with uh, Warrior Crest, and, it, and it, it was very good. So, I mean, if, if you have, like, the augments to play those comps, uh, definitely you can play them from behind. Uh, but Dejan and Graves are probably the safer ones because they're less reliant on expensive units. Okay, good. <clears throat> Deja, De the the thing I so tried to play Deja um with like Nunu, Twitch, Sidrani, Zippy, and Jace, and I have the feeling that Deja dies too quickly. Yeah, so Deja needs like Terra or Idis or something as uh, as your front line. Zippy and uh, Jace is also too good for uh, Deja. So Guild Deja is very good at the moment. So for Mirage and then. You play uh, guilds. That one's really good because Jace is really good frontline unit. Zippy is also to a really good secondary carry if you get AD items, uh, or he can just be a really good other tank. Um, so. And what do you think um, does Grace need? I think Grace is good at standalone, but he needs to move and kill everything. Graves needs uh, Edge of Night. At a minimum, as an item, he needs Edge of Night, and then he needs Seraphine to have items to make the comp good. So you need Morello is... So you're kind of... Your needed items is Morello and Edge of Night uh, for Graves and Seraphine, and then you want, like, Shojin and Deathcap, something like that, on, on Seraphine, and then you want, like, BT, Last Whisper, as your item, other items for Graves. And then just a bunch of, like, Protector's Vows or ZZ Rots for uh, Zack. Okay, okay. Alright. Mm. Yes. Perfect. 